I've been thinking a great deal about just how big and yet how connected the world is. This idea of connection is sometimes referred to as the six degrees of separation. The thought is that all the people on the earth are six or fewer social connections away from one another. The term originated in the work of the Hungarian playwright and author Frigis Karinti in his 1929 work Chains. It has since come into popular use as a way to say that we as humans are connected more closely with every other person on earth than we might otherwise realize. To imagine that we are no more than six social connections away from any other person in a world of 7.5 billion people is hard to believe, especially when you consider the idea originated with a playwright and not a social scientist, but Corinthi's intuition was largely correct. When the folks who study social networks for a living look at this, they found the data largely supported the theory. Certainly there are exceptions to the idea, but in general, most people are only separated from everyone else on the planet by six or less social connections. In 2011, Facebook's data team took a look at all the Facebook users at that time. It was some 721 million people. And in the papers they published, they found the average distance between all 721 million people was about 4.74 connections. Now, I have to admit, that gets me just a little bit excited. I love the idea of us all being closely connected, an intertwined web of humanity where none of us are ever too far away from anyone else. As I lay in bed the other night pondering all of this, I started playing out some of the connections in my own mind. How many connections would it take to get to, well, you name a person. I decided to go with some of the bad guys. What about Kim Jong-un? Turns out he's only three connections away. I have an acquaintance who I worked with several years ago, and for the past four years, he was a speechwriter for Mike Pence, which in turn leads to Trump, and then he's my connection to Kim Jong-un. And then I thought about Osama bin Laden. His family had strong ties to the Saudi royal family, and while it was decades ago, my uncle had connections with the Saudi royals and was given a Cartier watch from them. I wonder, human connection is a wonderful gift we've been given. Yes, it can connect us quickly with the famous. I mean, here's my friend Steve Stockman with Bono. But Bono reminds us of other connections we have with the people of the world. And how, as he says, through the media, we have some very strange faces in our backyard. And we weren't calling family until very recently. And we still don't really want to. But if you're going to enjoy having your sneakers and your jeans made by developing communities, you're already involved with those people. You just cannot therefore ignore some of the problems they're negotiating. They're living on your street. There was this old definition of generosity, he continues, which is at the very least, the rich man looks after the poor man on his street. Guess what? Now that street goes round the globe. Personally, I've been very blessed in my life to have traveled. I have first level connections with people from many different nations. I remember back in 1990, Ireland beat Romania in the World Cup. I was in a pub in Dublin, had a couple of pints of Guinness, and I joined the crowd dancing in the streets of Dublin after the victory with a couple of girls from Australia. But I have connections with the Kosa people of the Nkon Kobe in the Eastern Cape of South Africa. I have a connection with a former prisoner who served time with Nelson Mandela on Robben Island or in the rural communities around Butari in the southern province of Rwanda. And of course, the people of Sierra Leone, where I've had the privilege to visit three times now. On one occasion, Jesus was asked, who is my neighbor? He turned the question around and left the crowd pondering, who can I be a neighbor to? Take a little time to see how deeply connected your life is to the life of everyone else on this planet and reflect on why that matters. Remember, we are one humanity.